Okay, guys. I'm back here with a big, it's expensive, not big, but expensive tackle warehouse order. Got new rod, as you can see right here. I've got a new reel, some terminal tackle, some soft plastics, and I think a crankbait in here. So uh, I think the order was a little over 200, like 215. So uh, I'm going to do the box first and then get to the reel because the reel is going to be harder to do, or the rod, it's my bad. I'm going to do the rod after I do this stuff because the rod's going to be harder to unbox, so I'll save that for the end. And you know what, I'm going to do the tackle first and then do the rod and reel at the end. So, let's cut this puppy open. Good old buck knife. Good old packing paper. Stuff out. See what we got in here. Okay. That's what we got in here. These I did not buy at Tackle Warehouse order. These are uh, fluke sticks, which I bought at Dick's because I've never seen these things before. It's like the body of a Senko, and then it's got a fluke tail on it. It's pretty neat looking. Got a pack of these from Dick's. But the rest of this stuff is Tackle Warehouse. I got two packs of Missile Baits D bombs. I have one in Bruiser Flash, which is like black and blue. And I have another one here in Superbug, which is half blue, half green. A pack of Watermelon Seed Flukes. A KVD Sexy Dog Jr. Uh, square wheel crankbait. Okay, I got I got three spools of line too. Here's the receipt. All right, so I'm gonna get some of the line going first. I got some easy mono, some 12 pound. This is heavier fluorocar or uh, mono filament for my spooks because <clears throat> I like throwing mono spooks. So uh, 12 pound mono. Next is some six pound fluorocarbon which I got for like drop shots and finesse shaky heads like these ones here. These little 1 8 ounce shaky heads. So I wanted to get some <clears throat> lighter line to throw with some like uh, finesse setups like these shaky heads. Next thing I got here is some 15 pound suffix braid in a white color. The color is ghost. It's a uh, 150 yards of 15 pound white braid. Then I got here a half ounce. I, in my last unboxing, I used this Picasso metal weights, which I really liked. I got like a quarter last time, which is a middle size. So I wanted to get some heavier ones so that when I bed fish, I can keep the bait in the bed. <clears throat> so I got some half ounce. That's a five pack. And then here is a five pack of one eighth ounce, which is good for a calm day flipping a creature bait. I like one eighth. And I like these pro metal weights. So there's them. Then a reel cover for a left hand bait caster. Uh, the reel I got is the Abu Garcia Revo. It was $130 reel on sale for 100 So I'll go over that later. Then I got two shirts. Both medium. I don't know if that matter. That doesn't matter. But got a long sleeve because it was five bucks, and then a short sleeve because it was free. So that's that. And we'll get to the rod and reel here in a second. Gonna do the reel right now. This is the Abu Garcia Revo, as I mentioned before. Let's pop this puppy open. If I can figure out how. And pull lock. I broke it. There we go. <clears throat> Struggling here. Some uh, styrofoam at the top. That is nice. Abu Garcia Revo. Eight ball bearings. I believe it's. I don't. I think it's six three to one. Six four to one. 
It's a white reel. That's why I got the white line for it, because I figured it'd look nice. Get to focus on this. Left hand retrieve, 6 4 to 1. Has a deep spool. You know, you can see it's got a relatively deep spool. I'm not sure, I don't remember how much it holds. It's the Revo S by Abu Garcia. Got it on sale for 100. It comes with manual and a little bottle of like oil to keep the gears nice and smooth. So this is the Abu Garcia Revo and next I'm going to get to the rod. Okay guys, from ordering from Tackle Warehouse before, I'm sure you all know the struggle of taking a rod out of these. So uh, we're just going to get into it. Try to do this here without breaking the rod. Just plug out. Open it butt first. Gotta open it from the other side now. Oh geez. Sent me like oh damn it. Sent me like a nine foot rod tube for a seven foot rod. Okay, guess we gotta open this one now. This is a process, guys. I make you work for your rod. Rod I got is the number eight tackle company blackout. Just from watching Fluke Masters reviews, he said this is a fantastic rod for the price, and it was on sale for seventy bucks somewhere around there. So I had to get it. Oh yeah, here she is. This came really fast too. Most tackle warehouse orders take like a week to get to me. Okay guys, here she is. Number 8 Tackle Company Blackout. Get her open. Seven foot medium. Uh, fast action tip. I don't really feel the need to take all this off, so I'm just going to slide it up a little bit and let you see the specs. It is medium with a fast tip. That's that's nice. You can see it's kind of got like the it's kind of like carbon fiber looking sort of thing on the butt. It's got the number eight too, like the number eight logo on the butt. This is a really good rod. I think paired up with this Revo, it's gonna look really nice. Sorry about my fingers. Put her on there and see what she looks like. I'm so excited to get this combo. Oh yeah, she's nice looking on there. I like that black and white look to it. Alright guys. Oh yeah, she's smooth. This has been a Tomatoski fishing video. Uh... You know what? I'm going to change it up. I'm not going to say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm just going to give you one last look at how sweet this rod and reel looks together. Kind of like a little... It's got the blackout logo right there. It's a nice slick black look. That's a nice rod and reel, guys.